All right, guys, we're gonna be doing a a local recording here. I'm doing this for uh, YouTube, but I'm doing it also to show you how diverse Loki is. Um, he can be either minion or PvP build. Right now I have a PvP build on him. Um, or I'm starting to anyway. Oh, damn. I should have ran back to base. I didn't have to do that. An ally has been slain. Double kill. An ally has been slain. I'm gonna call that one a double kill and just leave it at that. Um, we are now going to go with you. I actually fell upon this build by accident. Um, I turned off my auto level um, and decided to just wing it. And I find that if I uh, wait and let things come to me, then I get a lot of kills. I went 22 and 4 one match, and that was probably one of my better ones. Go back there. I gotta get out of here. That was a clusterfuck right there. I didn't want to be in it anymore. And go ahead and use that to run back to base. Now, as you notice, I do not buy actives until the end. Um, I don't find it good to buy actives for Loki because it just wastes money. And it keeps you behind a lot. It keeps you behind of the curve, I guess you would call it. She's gone. I'm not gonna chase her no more. You have slain an enemy. Now his number two does minion damage. I tend to favor it when I'm trying to push the enemy back further so that they don't follow their minions in so far. And now once they see if they back up and face me going backwards, I tend to get more more damage on them when they are um, not facing me, obviously. Now here would be a good time to get active, but you know, I just decided to die. <laughs> Why not? Alquan got me uh, that time. Not very good, but you know, whatever. Um, death will happen. It's kind of inevitable with this build but at least you know what you're going to do because now um, we're going to build for attack speed first and then once everybody gets to a higher max HP we'll do Quinn's Blades and really fuck them up. Um, right now I have um, decreasing armor penetration on them with the Executioner so that's going to really cut through their health quick when their armor isn't there. I'm getting out of there. 
you got to know when to kind of back up and just let them let them have it man. you don't really want to push them too far otherwise you keep dying and then your respawn timer gets a little too high um for you to do any good but then again once you start killing a lot of people over and over your respawn timer will also start to get high um now we are going to skip the third fatalis for now we're going to come back to it and we're going to go with a quinn's blade and then we're probably going to get the second quinn's blade and go with a rage after the second so that we can up our crit damage or quit chance i should say There's a double. Oh, he stole the triple from me. I hate when that happens, but it does happen. And I'm just going to let it happen because I'll get plenty. I'm going to go back and heal and buy some more uh, blades here. And we're also going to go with a oh king. Or I'll wait a couple seconds. We'll get the rage right now. Pull him, pull him. Nice, good job guys, good job. An enemy has been slain. Double kill. An enemy has been slain. Now as you can see I'm not leveling up my number two very much at all. The other three are getting maxed out first. And then two and four will be the last one. I'm getting out of there. Oh, the fucking minion got me. Oh no, no, somebody did. Somebody else did. Damn. Too bad. Oh well. Uh, people are disconnecting now. See, as you can see, getting a lot of kills, my uh, respawn timer has gone way up. Uh, I'm 10 and 3 right now, higher than anyone else in the match. Now we're going to get our second rage, then go back to Quinn's Blade, and then go back to Fatalis, and then we will get our Deathbringer uh, for the final. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. It's not gonna help you. That's not gonna help you. Come here, come here, come here. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. An ally has returned. Come here, Callie. An enemy has been slain. Thanks for the help, dude. I needed it. Can I go heal? Now, Loki is pretty unbeatable once he gets into his full build. Um, 
I will die probably a couple times, but it's all worth it uh, in the end. An enemy has left the game. Aw, oh, poor guys. Can't handle it. I'll just run right on through that. Oh, bullshit. There was no one there. She did not get me at all. That had to have been a please attack or something. Now I gotta wait another however long. And somebody else is above me. Callie, the one that just killed me. It's 12 and 7, but you know, I'm 10, 4, and 11 right now, so that's not really gonna matter. And we are winning by a hefty margin, over 100 right now. And instead of buying that third rage, I am going to go back and adapt here, and we're going to uh, go with the Quinn's Blade again. Um, then I'll get my third rage, unless I really need Fatalis again. But I'm not sure if the match will really last that long. They got two enemies that have left the game, one's dead with 11 seconds to respawn. Oh bullshit, she fucking lunged at me again. Oh well, quick respawn here. Since I've died a couple of times, it automatically goes back to a different respawn. Now I'm going to go for the rage, uh, just because I need more crit. Um, and I will get Deathbringer, the first Deathbringer next, and then go back to Fatalis. It's a complicated build, but it centers around the few items you just need to figure out which order An ally has been slain. Double kill. got her suck my dick shit 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 get out of here And now we are going to go with uh, Deathbringer. An enemy has been slain. I need more crit, uh, just because he gets extremely badass when he has a lot of crit. Um, extremely, even when facing their front, he has that number three attack that enhances any attack that is done. Just like that. That's, I believe, my third double uh, for the game here. Triple. Aw, oh, just a player, damn. Oh well, that'll have to do. I'm gonna go back to base and heal and buy uh, Fatalis. Now, Fatalis has that special passive that every successful... Um, every successful normal attack that hits, you gain attack speed. So, uh, um, so it stacks up to four times, giving you up to 12% attack speed. And with everything else that's already attack speed, the Quinn's Blade, the Rage, and I think Deathbringer also gives you something. Um you get a lot of attack speed and you can just go up behind them and rape them. I'm gonna let them do that. They deserve some kills there. Oh shit, get 
get out of there, get out of there. That was a bad one, that was a bad move. Shouldn't have done that there. Thought my aim was a little bit more on target than what it was. Uh, 1300, damn. This match ain't gonna go on much longer. They got 10 left, two kills. Two of their guys have already disconnected permanently. And here's a kill right here. Give them a good game. That was pretty decent. So let's see our final stats here. 16 and 15. Not my best, but it's still extremely good. 3 double kills, 12 assists, uh, 13 player kills, 6 worshippers for that match. Um, as you can see, I've been playing Loki quite a bit once I discovered this build. So we will see you guys later.